show you to this I wanted to show y'all the true length of my afro hair as y'all know I pressed my hair out three days ago it has not quite reverted back to its old self yet because y'all know I do my wash days on Sundays I don't do cold washes because I'm in school I have medical appointments and all that and I really don't have time Oh, if my, if my lips are still sort of ruby red, that's because I'm eating these Cheetos Red Hot Fries. But anyways, this is day three of my hair after it's been pressed out. My afro texture is like, it's back to its poofiness, but not its curliness. Like, I'm used to my little tiny cute curls, and it is still straight. Like I can rub my hair through it innocently without no, without my hand getting caught in it at all. And I'm not used to that. I know some naturals, they're used to that all the time because they're used to defusing their hair and all that. But like I told y'all, I've been 10 months heat free prior to this month. So I'm, I don't know nothing about defusing your hair and blow drying it and all that. So... I guess this is what my hair would look like if I actually was to blow dry it. As y'all can tell, it's a lot bigger than what y'all is usually used to. I'm, I'm guessing it's at the 9 inch mark, I would say. Because I know, as y'all see, in the back, my hair is longer in the back, it goes like. Mm -hmm. It's a unique bob like style. And for y'all who don't know this fact, there are over 1,500 types of bobs. Like, when you hear bob, people just think bob means like either long on the sides, cropped in the back, or one side is like right here and the other side is right here. That's not the case. And where's my book right here? Oh! I do not see my book. I will show y'all that in another video. All the types of bobs there is. There are literally over 1,500 different types of shortcut styles. And I think my hairstyle was rather unique. How it's long in the back and sort of short on the sides and shorter in the front. But this is day three of my hair. Oh, also I want to say um, rest in peace. Katherine Johnson, you are a you are a fabulous actress who were who will be severely missed. Um, I just found out she had lung cancer in real life and she just passed away yesterday. For y'all who don't know who Katherine Johnson is, she played the old lady on Desperate Housewives, and that just and that went off May 13th, and on the show she died of cancer. And this really was, this really sort of hit me personally, because I'm usually not the crying type, but it reminded me of my soap opera passions where the character Timmy died the day, the day before he died in real life on the show. He died on the show, he got struck by lightning, I think. He died, he was a, live, he was a doll that turned into a real boy. This was, passions was a very like magical soap opera like he had demons and witches and all that and, but he in a ways he died the day after he died on the show and she died two weeks after the end of the desperate housewives she was a wonderful actress but anyways this is what my hair looks like in its true length if i was to stretch it out i'm going to try to um blow dry my hair for the first time tomorrow after I wash it or I might wait till Monday um y'all be the judge that should I do it right after I wash my hair or no I'm thinking I should do it Monday because I want my hair to be this height Monday for graduation practice even though even though I can't sport this on the day of graduation but I want people to actually see my true hair limb on doing graduation practice because they used to saying my hair is usual compact style. So if y'all have any comments, tips, suggestions, y'all know what to do. And also feel free 
to rate and subscribe. This, this is going to get some taking used to. I'm not used to my hair feeling so thick. I like, I've gotten used to my kinky curliness and this is new for me. Like, being able to just rub my fingers through this. Like, not to say that my hair is not soft. Y'all know my hair is, is soft and manageable, but I'm just used to my kinky curliness and this does not have no hint of a I mean, this don't have no hint of a curl in it. It's just straightforward hair, like my grandma's hair used to be. When she was alive, her natural hair type just naturally grew. Her hair just naturally grew straight up. My great-grandma Nettie, her hair grew even straighter. And my great-grandma Nettie's dad was Caucasian. And he, well, that says it all, he was straight in. Her great, great granddad was Asian. Asian Indian. So I'm all, I'm all over the place. We'll talk about this in another video about my complicated ancestry with, get, got, with blackness and Caucasian and Indian and Asian. And I express and somehow, despite going, despite me being the great grandchild of my great grandma Nelly, I still express slight hints of all the, all the other three traits. Like as I can tell, I'm clearly black. I'm black and I'm proud. But I express certain other traits of the groups, and I'll tell y'all more about that in a different video. So once again, any comments, tips, suggestions, leave them in the comment box. Also, feel free to rate and subscribe, and what do y'all think of my hair in its treatment? I might, I might get used to this, like, I sort of miss my little curls, though, because I'm afraid that my, I don't know why I think my hair is heat damaged when this is my first time ever pressing my hair, and I did all the steps right. I put my protecting on and everything. My, I checked, did my lymph check. My hair still falls at the same limb at the top of my nose. So I know I haven't suffered any breakage issues or nothing. But that's just me being nervous because I'm this I'm so used to I'm not used to pressing my hair. But I will be with y'all in another video because I ain't trying to ramble. 